All right. So, if you watched all my videos, you would know that the getaway threw a little fit at the end of uh, one of my recording sessions, and so I turned the game off to prevent any further possible damage. That's not good. Something tells me that's the beginning of something bad. We're gonna see if that continues before we start investigating, maybe we've got some underlying problems, maybe we don't. Um, so let's we'll start up by turning her on. Alexa, turn on the getaway. Get ready to ship gears, Daddy. All right, let's see what we got going on here. All right. So we've got a problem. Yeah. All right, let's pull her out. All right, we've got her opened up now, and uh, we're just gonna take a gander around and see if we can find anything out of the ordinary. We'll check all the cables, make sure that they're, they are, um... hmm. Uh, let me just make sure, I mean, cause nothing else, I doubt very seriously I've got multiple cables or connectors that are bad. What are the chances it's just one cable? What are the chances? Let's turn it on. Let's see. I mean, it looks like I've got voltage going to all my boards over there. Um... So, all I've done is remove the ribbon cables from the MPU, which is right here. Actually, I need to plug this one back in. Removed all the ribbon cables, plugged them back in. We'll see what we get. Oh, well. Oh. Hmm, strange. Well, moving these. Good old WSS method right here, guys. Well, wiggling some stuff cause issue. All right, so, intermittent issues, my favorite. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Trying the good old take it out and put it back in method. We'll see if that fixes it. 
Nope. You're bad. All right, it's been about a week. I've got my new chips in right here, my NVRAM, as well as my new uh, CPU chip. We're going to turn it around just to see if we still have the same issue. All right. It's definitely not what we want. <laughs> so let's install these new chips right here and see if we can get this thing back to life. All right, so when it comes to removing the old chips, uh, one of the tools I might be using is something sort of like this. It allows me to get up behind, up underneath a certain chip. This isn't the one I typically use. And uh, get some leverage on it to where I can pry it up. All right, I haven't installed the NVRAM yet, but I have installed the new ROM chip. Something that you want to make sure that whenever you start this game up is to make sure all pins are inside the socket. So all pins are inside the socket. Press down firmly. And we'll see if we fix the issue. Let's get the pinballs in there. Alright. There we go. Looks like we're back to being good as new. All right, let's get the uh, NVRAM installed now and we can say goodbye to the uh, batteries. All right, we are now running NVRAM. Put the NVRAM in, remove the battery pack. I did have to reset the date and time and of course all the high scores are gone, but no biggie on that, I'll just do it again. But, all right, she's back to life. So by all means, I will put a link down below to Matt's Basement Arcade, so that way in case you need new ROMs for your game, you know where to get them from. Uh, also, there's going to be quite a few out there that notice, of course, the three dong sound effect when the game starts up, which is the dong dong dong, which indicates there is a sound ROM issue. That is why I'm getting the U18 checksum soundboard problem. Now I can go get me a new ROM. Uh, online to replace the uh, allegedly bad one or this may just be the reasoning behind me finally getting a pin sound for this game and making a cap mix for that one peace out guys